Hey designers, in this video tutorial, we're going to create this ad in After Effects. So start by creating a new document and a new composition. I've chosen a 1080 by 1080 composition. Okay, let's begin by making a circle with a stroke and no fill. Place the circle in the bottom left corner like this. We'll also use this circle as a path for our product. Now, import the product image. Right click, Import, File, and select the cheese flavored snack. Import it, then drag and drop it onto the timeline. Scale it down using the Scale tool. After scaling, Select Shape Layer 1. To make it a path, go to Ellipse 1, then Ellipse Path 1. Right click and choose Convert to Bezier Path. Now, another option called Path 1 appears. Go to Path 1, click on the path, and copy it by pressing Ctrl C. Now select the cheese flavored snack, press P for position, click on the stopwatch next to position, press Ctrl V to paste. Good. Let's move it slightly to the right so the snack is fully visible in the composition. Press S to scale the snack down a bit more. Select all the keyframes except the first one. Then press Alt on your keyboard and move them to the right. Let's see. Okay. It's only slower when the snack is visible on the frame. Let's adjust them a bit more. Move them to the right. The snack moves slower when it's on the frame and faster when it's off the frame. Now, press R for rotation, and we'll add rotation to it. Press Shift P for position so we have both rotation and position visible. Click on the stopwatch next to rotation, and let's rotate it a bit like this. Now, we need to find the frame where the snack is about to leave the frame but is still fully visible on the screen. Apply rotation at that point. Okay, at the point where the snack has left the frame, we don't want any parts of it to be visible on the frame. Let's go to that keyframe and move it downwards slightly. If a little bit of the top of the snack is showing, move it downwards to ensure it's not visible. Again, check the next frame. If any part of it is showing, adjust it accordingly to ensure it's not visible at any point. After that, we want the snack to stay in the video for a little bit longer. Let's find the frame where it's about to leave. Add a keyframe to the position here and move it to the right side. Okay, good. Now the snack stays on the frame for a bit longer. I still notice a few points where the snack is not on the frame and parts of it are showing. Let's move it downwards to ensure it's fully off screen. Good. Let's apply a bit more rotation to it. At this point, Let's rotate it like this and see the animation. Let's move this to the right a bit. Great, our snack animation is done now. Let's import the flavor of this snack, which is cheese, and we're going to do the same animation that we've done here. So let's close the options of these layers to make the timeline a bit tidy. After that, 
move the bar to the first frame and let's review the animation once more. Good. Before importing, let's draw a circle here like we did before and put it in the top right corner. After that, import the cheese PNG. Right click, import file, select the cheese, and import it. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Then scale it down and place it on the circle like this. Now, select the circle layer, go to contents, then ellipse 1. Go to Ellipse Path 1, right click, and select Convert to Bezier Path. A path has been created here, then select the path and press Ctrl C to copy the path. Select the cheese PNG, press P for position, click on the stopwatch near the position, press Ctrl V to paste. Here, the cheese is moving in the clockwise direction, but we want it to move in the anti clockwise direction. To achieve that, you need to select all the keyframes, right-click, go to keyframe assistance, and select time reverse keyframes. This action reverses the direction from clockwise to anti-clockwise. Good. However, notice that the first keyframe is now useless because the cheese comes onto the screen on the second frame. We don't want this initial keyframe. So let's select it and press backspace on your keyboard to delete it. After that, select all the keyframes and move them to the first frame like this. Now, this is the first frame of the cheese animation. Now we'll do the same thing to make the cheese move slower when it's completely visible on the screen. Select all the keyframes except the first keyframe and move them towards the right side. Let's review what we did with the snack animation. To do that, let's open its keyframes by selecting the layer and pressing U to see all the keyframes of the snack layer. After that, move the playhead to the frame when the snack moves out of the frame and place all the keyframes there, at the starting point. Then, move it to the point when the snack appears on the screen again and move all the keyframes of this cheese PNG layer to the left side, so it has the same animation as the snack. Okay, when you play the animation, you'll notice that even when the cheese is not on the composition, it's still showing. Let's fix that. Go to the keyframes and adjust them so that no parts of the cheese are visible when it's off screen. Let's review it now. Okay, now go to the previous keyframe. At this point, we want the cheese to again appear on the screen. So go to the first frame, select this frame, and press Ctrl C to copy it. Now move to the time when the snack PNG appears on the screen again. Move the playhead to that point and press Ctrl V to paste it. It's weirdly moving, making the cheese appear on the screen. So let's adjust the curves of it. Adjust the other keyframes accordingly. Okay, cool. Here, select the cheese PNG again and press R for rotation. Click on the stopwatch next to rotation and let's apply a little bit of rotation before it moves out of the frame.
Let's review the animation now. Select the cheese snack PNG and scale it down a bit. They should not be touching each other while moving. OK, now select the shape stroke layer and adjust its position. Here, import the background. Right click, import file. This is the orange background for the cheese snack layer. Drag and drop it onto the timeline and place it below all the layers. Select shape layer 1 and shape layer 2, the two circle strokes. Press T for opacity and lower the opacity to 40%. OK, so the last step is adding text here. Take the text tool, click here, and write the text, cheesy cheese flavor. Rotate this text a bit. Go to Effects and Presets, in Search, type, Extend, and drag and drop it onto the text layer. It's a text animation preset. Make the text layer appear a few frames after this animation. Adjust the position of this text. Go to Effects and Presets again and search for Drop Shadow. Drag and drop it onto this snack layer first. Adjust the values according to what is required. Increase the distance, increase the softness, and adjust the direction. Once you are satisfied with the values, Copy this drop shadow effect and all the values. Select it. Press Ctrl C to copy. Select the cheese PNG layer and press Ctrl V to paste. Make any additional adjustments that are still required. After that, once you are satisfied, select the cheesy cheese flavor. Press Ctrl V to paste. Make the required adjustments. If you don't like it when the cheesy cheese flavor text is coming on top of the cheese PNG, we can adjust its animation. Go to the text layer options, then to the text options, and then to animator 1. Range Selector 1. Adjust these keyframes to extend when the cheese has left the text layer. Ensure that there's no overlap at the point where the animation is about to happen. Adjust the timing or position accordingly. OK, cool. Let's close these options. Select all the layers and pre-compose them. Go to Layer, then Pre-Compose. Go to Project, 
find the precomposed layer, and rename it to cheesy. OK, now duplicate this precomposed layer by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Cheesy 2 is created. Now rename it to lemon. Here we will apply all the lemon flavors. Double click to open this lemon precomposed layer. First of all, let's replace the text cheesy cheese with lemon mint. Then select the cheese PNG. Here we will import the lemon flavor and lemon snack. Import all of them. OK, now select the cheese PNG and find the lemon image. By pressing the Alt key on your keyboard, drag and drop it onto the cheese PNG to replace it. Again select the cheese snack layer. Find the lemon snack layer. Press Alt on your keyboard and drag it to drop it on top of the cheese snack. Now, let's do the same with the background. Press Alt and drag and drop it here. Wow! Now it has a lemony mint flavor animation created. Let's play it. Very nice. Now we will do this step once more. Select the cheesy precomposed layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and rename it to Tomato. Double click to open this Tomato precomposed layer. First thing is we need to import the Tomato background, the snack, and the flavor. Select them and import them here. Let's first place the background. Select this background and by pressing Alt on your keyboard, drag and drop it to replace the orange background with the red one. Now select the cheese snacks and find the tomato snacks. Press Alt and drag and drop them here. The last is the cheese PNG. Replace it with this tomato flavor like this. We need to adjust the tomato flavor rotation a bit here. So select it, press R for rotation, and adjust its rotation. These are the adjustments that you will have to make after replacing it with the other thing. Now close the options and go to Comp 1. Here we have the cheese snack animation. See when the cheese snack animation is done. We will apply the other two. But before that, we need this cheesy cheese flavor text to also be trimmed after the snacks have left the composition. So for this, double click on this precomposed layer and select the cheesy cheese flavored text layer and trim it by pressing Alt and right square bracket. Zoom in and make sure that it perfectly leaves after the other two have left. OK, good. Do the same with the lemon and tomato. Make sure their text disappears after the snack leaves the composition. OK, at this point, press Alt and right square bracket to trim it. Open the tomato precomposed layer now, and trim its text here as well. At this point, press Alt and right square bracket to trim the text. Again, go to Comp 1 and see the animation. OK, after the snacks leave this composition.
We will drag and drop the lemon precomposed layer here and offset it to this point. And after the lemon snacks leave, we will drag and drop the tomato precomposed layer here and offset it like this. Let's see the animation now. Okay, now we need to have the final composition. For that, select this cheesy precomposed layer again and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Rename this cheesy 2 to final. Double click it to open it. Here we will delete all of these layers except the background ones. Now drag and drop all the snacks here. Find them and drop them here. Let's see where the cheese is. Cheese, where are you? Drag and drop it here. Select all of them, press S for scale, and scale them down. Okay, after scaling them down, we will change the position of the tomato and lemon flavored snacks. The cheese will be in the center. So first select this tomato PNG, press P for position, and move it to the right side. Select this lemon mint, move it to the left side. I think I need to scale them down a bit more, so select all of them, press S for scale, and scale them down to 55%. Good. Again, adjust their positions. We will apply animation to the positions of these red and green snacks, so press P for position. Click on the stopwatch near to position. Move the playhead to the 1 second frame. Click on the stopwatch near to position. Move the playhead to the first frame, and make it hide behind this cheese layer, cheese snack. Select this lemon mint PNG, press P for position, add a keyframe, click on the stopwatch near to the position, move to the first frame, and make it hide behind this cheese snack as well. Okay, I think the animation is very slow, so select these keyframes and move them to the left side to make this animation a bit faster. Now select both the keyframes, press F9 to apply easy ease, go to the graph editor and adjust the graph like this. Cool. Go back to comp 1 and see the animation. Okay, drag and drop this final animation here at this point and you are done. If you found this video helpful, like it, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel.